Hello guys and welcome to Tackle Tuesday on a Wednesday. Last week Tuesday, which is today, you guys missed out on Tackle Tuesday. That is because I am in Angola. Uh, guys, yeah, so I thought I'll quickly run down through the tackle that we use here in Angola. Um, the spinning setups and how we rig our tackle um, because I've had some questions on, on what we use. So I fish three different setups. I'm going to start out on my lighter setup that we use um, in Angola. This is just a general um, setup, lighter setup. During the daytime you'll, you'll throw paddle tails and bucktail jigs like I'm pre rigged here. This bucktail here is, is, is one by tiny jigs. Absolutely love it. I'm just in full picture. But let's go through to the terminal tackle, the braided line, and um, what I'm fishing. This setup right here is a is a medium medium setup. It's an Omia 011 foot, um, one to three ounce. It's just a general casting lure that's, that's got cap capabilities of throwing one to three ounce lures. Um, with ease, it's not a heavy rod. It's easy on you um, doesn't take a lot of strain on your on your body I fish it with a, a Biomaster 8000 you can use any similar size reel that's a 8000 8000 size um, I loaded with 30 pound braid and um, I fish with just a small 50 pound um, braided leader that acts as a casting leader um, I tied with the FG knot like I showed you guys in my previous videos it's just enough, like one or two wraps around my reel. When I cast, that goes onto a 0.85 piece of mono. Also tied with the FG knot. And um, yeah, this is my daytime paddle tail setup. You fish for jacks, a bit of the Corvinas, Tetvin. And um, if you hook a snapper, you are totally fine. And um, on a previous trip, I landed two decent sized Kibera snappers on this exact same outfit. One of about 20, 25 kilos and one of 18, 20 kilos. The handle is perfect. Then I have a jack, a setup specifically for jacks when I need a lot of distance. And, um, and, I, and I want to really pull the fish hard and the fish are quite thick. And also when you hook a big, Euro snapper, or if I think there will be a big Euro snapper, or a chance of a, um, a top, and especially later in the season during the rainy season, uh, November to to end in April. This is Sierra um, 2XH, also by Assassin. It's a one to four ounce, or two to four ounce rated. Um, of course, the three ounce your normal. Um, spoon or spinner that you'll throw would be three ounce so you need a lot of distance got a lot of pulling power in this rod guide specifically designed for, um, for for casting then um, a 10,000 twin power I actually have two spools depending on how the water is how strong it is how the current is and what we're looking for one spool is loaded with 30 pounds for maximum distance and the other, other spool is a 14,000 spool loaded with 40 pound if I think there could be a monster looking around. Also FG knot um, tied onto an 80 pound braid leader just for casting and a bit of a resistance, a bit, um, abrasive resistance to the bigger fish. Um, once again same setup, let me just get this done. Once again the end tackle is the same. I'd either fish a 0.85 maxima alter green or sometimes we might go up to a one more maxima alter green depending on um, what we think could be in the, in the water. Then later when we fish, uh, wait, let me take a sip, now it's getting dry. Mm. Good boys, it's lucky here in Angola. Then, late afternoon, especially if you've got a high tide, late afternoon going into the dark, I like to beef up my gear a bit, especially in the summer months, because there's some monster Kibura snappers here, as well as those tarpon. The tarpon can jump onto your paddle tail at any moment. 
Then I go up to a heavier, heavier setup. This is an Armia Cup Special, 2 to 5 ounce, capable of throwing bigger lures, heavier lures. But the main thing is it's got a lot of backbone to pull the fish real hard. Currently I have it in 10,000 twin power on you, but um, we either fish it with a 40, 14,000, go up to a 50 pound braid, um, 100 pound leader, and then either 1.1 or 1.2 more um, um, snoot at the end. And yeah, that's, that is my setup, or that's the setups that we use. Um, majority of the rods are 11 foot. Then to show you guys, how I change my lures every time. Um, I prefer this method. Uh, me and the, the uh, quick release clips on the biggest sprints. So, just want to come, just want to come closer to you guys. What what we do is we take a forged split ring, tied onto uh, number two power Japan power saw. So if you want to change your if you want to change your lures, all that you do is you take your split ring pliers and you remove the split ring put on put on and you put on um, um, your new lure or you change the lure to different lure so yeah guys um, this is a quick video here and a guy that I want to show you guys just the spinning setups that you use today is Wednesday um, skipped two Tuesdays because um, actually which was yesterday um, we flew back from Angola, so I wasn't able to uh, edit anything or to upload anything or to do any um, work to do the footage. But this week I will get to that footage, work through it and edit you some lucky videos on, on this trip. We already got a nice computer snapper yesterday. So guys, yeah, thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for some awesome videos and some lucky fish here in Angola. If you're not subscribed to Zulu Fishing yet, please subscribe to Zulu Fishing. I will appreciate it. Cheers!